employ your time, in improving yourself, by other men's writings, so that you, shall come easily by, what others have labored hard for. Well, I am certainly wiser than this man. It is only too likely, that neither of us has any knowledge to boast of, but, he thinks that he knows something which he does not know, whereas I am quite conscious of my ignorance. At any rate, it seems that I am wiser than he is to this small extent, that I do not think that I know what I do not know. True wisdom comes to each of us, when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us. The beginning of wisdom, is a definition of terms. What a lot of things there are, a man can do, without. I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. Slanderers, do not hurt me, because, they do not hit me. I was afraid that by observing objects with my eyes, and trying to comprehend them with each of my other senses, I might, blind my soul altogether. To find yourself, think, for yourself. Know thyself. He who is not contented, with what he has, would not be contented, with what he would like to have. If a man is proud of his wealth, he should not be praised until it is known how he employs it. Where there is reverence, there is fear, but there is not reverence everywhere that there is fear, because fear presumably, has a wider, extension, than reverence. They are not only idle who do nothing, but they are idle also, who might be better employed. One thing only I know, and that is that, I know, nothing. Our prayers should be for blessings in general, for God knows best what is good for us. I only wish that ordinary people, had an unlimited capacity, for doing harm. Then, they might have, an unlimited power, for doing, good. How many, are the things, I, can do without? I was really too honest a man, to be a politician, and live. Ordinary people seem not to realize, that those who really apply themselves, in the right way, to philosophy, are directly, and of their own accord, preparing themselves, for dying, and death. The hottest love, has the coldest end. See one promontory, one mountain, one sea, one river and, see all. A system of morality, which is based on relative emotional values, is a mere illusion, a thoroughly vulgar conception, which has nothing sound in it, and nothing true. By all means, marry. If you get a good wife, you will become happy, and if you get a bad one you will become, a philosopher. When desire, having rejected reason and overpowered judgment, which leads to right, is set in the direction of the pleasure which beauty can inspire, and when again, under the influence of its kindred, desires it is moved with violent motion towards the beauty of corporeal forms, it acquires a surname from this very violent motion, and is called, love. I pray thee, O God, that I may be beautiful within. The way to gain a good reputation, is to endeavor to be, what you desire to appear. Nature, has given us two ears, two eyes, and but one tongue to the end that we should hear, and see, more than we speak. In childhood be modest, in youth temperate, in adulthood just, and in old age, prudent. 
The end of life, is to be like God, and the soul following God, will be like Him. We are in fact convinced, that if we are ever to have pure knowledge of anything, we must get rid of the body and contemplate things by themselves, with the soul by itself. It seems, to judge from the argument, that the wisdom which we desire, and upon which we profess to have set our hearts, will be attainable only when we are dead, and not in our lifetime. Nothing is to be preferred before justice. Let him, that would move the world, first move himself. The comic and the tragic lie inseparably close, like light and shadow. I am not an Athenian, nor a Greek, but a citizen of the world. Call no man unhappy, until he is married. Happiness, is unrepentant pleasure. The unexamined life, is not worth living. Wars and revolutions and battles, are due simply, and solely, to the body and its desires. All wars, are undertaken for the acquisition of wealth, and the reason why we have to acquire wealth, is the body, because we are slaves in its service. No man, undertakes a trade, he has not learned, even the meanest, yet, everyone thinks himself sufficiently qualified, for the hardest of all trades, that of government. The only good, is knowledge, and the only evil, is ignorance. The nearest way to glory, is to strive to be, what you wish to be thought to be. Be slow to fall into friendship, but when thou art in, continue firm and constant. Enjoy yourself, it's later than you think. Worthless people, love only, to eat and drink. People of worth, eat and drink, only to live. Once made equal to man, woman becomes his superior. Fame, is the perfume, of heroic deeds. The envious person, grows lean, with the fatness, of their neighbor. From the deepest desires often come the deadliest hate. An education obtained with money, is worse than no education at all. Whom do I call educated? First, those who manage well, the circumstances they encounter day by day. Next, those who are decent and honorable in their intercourse with all men, bearing easily, and good-naturedly, what is offensive in others, and being as agreeable and reasonable to their associates, as is humanly possible to be. Those who hold their pleasures always under control and are not ultimately overcome by their misfortunes. Those who are not spoiled by their successes, who do not desert their true selves, but hold their ground steadfastly, as wise, and sober-minded men. False words, are not only, evil in themselves, but, they infect the soul with evil. The fewer our wants, the more we resemble the gods. Life contains but two tragedies. One, is not to get, your heart's desire. The other is to, get it. A multitude of books distracts the mind. Whenever, therefore, people are deceived, and form opinions wide of the truth, it is clear, that the error has slid into their minds, through the medium of certain, resemblances to that truth. If I tell you that I would be disobeying the God and on that account it is impossible for me to keep quiet, you won't be persuaded by me, taking it that I am, ionizing. 
And if I tell you that it is the greatest good for a human being to have discussions every day about virtue and the other things you hear me talking about, examining myself and others, and that the unexamined life is not livable for a human being, you will be even less persuaded. The hour of departure has arrived, and we go our ways, I, to die, and you, to live. Which is better? Only God knows. To fear death, my friends, is only to think ourselves wise without being wise, for it is to think that we know what we do not know. For anything that men can tell, death may be the greatest good that can happen to them. But they fear it, as if they knew quite well that it was the greatest of evils. And what is this but that shameful ignorance, of thinking, that we know what we do not know? Think not those faithful, who praise all thy words and actions, but those, who kindly reprove thy faults. Contentment is natural wealth, luxury is artificial poverty. Give me beauty in the inward soul, may the outward, and the inward man, be at one. He is rich who is content with the least, for contentment, is the wealth of nature. Remember, no human condition is ever permanent. Then you will not be overjoyed, in good fortune, nor too scornful, in misfortune. Beauty, is a short-lived tyranny. The only true wisdom, is in knowing you know nothing. Wonder, is the beginning of wisdom. Be kind, for everyone you meet, is fighting a hard battle. Every action has its pleasures, and its price. Remember what is unbecoming to do, is also unbecoming, to speak of. Be, as you wish to seem. Do not, do, to others, what angers you, if done, to you, by others. Beware, the barrenness, of a busy life. Are you not ashamed, of heaping up the greatest amount of money, and honor, and reputation, and caring so little about wisdom, and truth, and the greatest improvement of the soul? Remember that there is nothing stable in human affairs, therefore avoid undue elation in prosperity, or undue depression in adversity. We cannot live better than, in seeking, to become better. The secret of change, is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Smart people learn from everything and everyone, average people from their experiences, stupid people already have all the answers. Education, is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. The shortest, and surest way, to live with honor in the world, is to be in reality, what we would appear to be, and if we observe, we shall find, that all human virtues, increase and strengthen themselves, by the practice of them. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old, without seeing the beauty and strength, of which his body is capable. I know nothing, except the fact of my ignorance. Silence, is a profound melody for those, who can hear it, above all the noise. If you don't get what you want, you suffer, if you get what you don't want, you suffer, even when you get exactly what you want, you still suffer because you can't hold on to it forever. Your mind is your predicament. It wants to be free of change. 
free of pain, free of the obligations of life and death. But change is law and no amount of pretending will alter that reality. There are two kinds of disease of the soul, vice and ignorance. Sometimes you put walls up, not to keep people out, but to see who cares enough, to break them down. Strong minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, weak minds, discuss people. The secret of happiness, you see, is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity, to enjoy less. When the debate is lost, slander, becomes the tool, of the loser. Having the fewest wants, I am nearest to the gods. The children now love luxury. They have bad manners, contempt for authority, they show disrespect for elders, and love chatter in place of exercise. Falling down is not a failure. Failure, comes when you stay, where you have fallen. Prefer knowledge to wealth, for the one is transitory, the other perpetual. Get not your friends by bare compliments, but by giving them sensible tokens of your love. Be nicer than necessary to everyone you meet. Everyone is fighting some kind of battle. All wars are fought for the acquisition of wealth. Thou shouldest eat to live, not live to eat. If you want to be a good saddler, saddle the worst horse, for if you can tame one, you can tame all. One should never do wrong in return, nor mistreat any man, no matter how one has been mistreated by him. Be the kind of person that you want people to think you are. If all our misfortunes, were laid in one common heap, whence everyone must pick an equal portion, most people would be content to take their own, and depart. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark, the real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Children nowadays are tyrants. They contradict their parents, gobble their food, and tyrannize their teachers. The greatest blessing granted to mankind come by way of madness, which is a divine gift. There is no possession more valuable than a good and faithful friend. The years wrinkle our skin, but lack of enthusiasm wrinkles our soul. The highest realms of thought, are impossible to reach, without first attaining an understanding, of compassion. The easiest, and noblest way, is not to be crushing others, but to be improving yourselves. When you want wisdom, and insight, as badly as you want to breathe, it is then you shall have it. To move the world, we must move ourselves. Through your rags, I see your vanity. Envy, is the ulcer, of the soul.